vacation ever? Yay, entitlement! That's right! Three days at one of the finest resorts in Okinawa! Diplomatic passport! And the best part? Not only do students get to hit the buck seaside, your school pays for the whole kit and caboodle! Summer debauchery! Wow, this is so cool. Look at all of them. Summer vacation. Three months of sweet freedom from the confines of school. Or so you'd think. Uh, remind me again what we're doing out here? Oh, well, I'm not about to let the guys in my neighborhood catch me collecting insects, sorry. At heart, I'm a city boy. That doesn't mean nature doesn't fascinate me, though. Karma showed me this tree a few weeks ago after school. Pretty cool, huh? No offense, but it's weird that you came along with us, Mayahara. Never would have pegged you for the entomologist type. I figured, what the heck? Okinawa's coming up. We don't want to be unprepared. Think about it, my friend. What's the one thing we'll need the most of? I don't know. Cold hard cash! We're gonna be up to our eyeballs in bikini-clad babes, and that talent ain't cheap. Now, that little runt there ain't worth much, but... We tracked down a stag beetle? Dude, we are talking mucho dinero. Seriously, have you seen what they go for online? Easily enough to score a four-star dinner and kick it poolside under an umbrella with the hottie of your choice. I get the feeling he's not real focused on what the trip is supposed to be about. Yeah, his idea of a good time seems a little mature for his age. It's not gonna work. Uh -huh. Stag beetles are pretty old news. Hey! Hi, guys. Trying to scrape up some spending money for our getaway? Maybe. What do you know about stag beetle trends? Uh, well, they were worth a ton a few years ago, but not so much recently. Artificial breeding costs supply to outweigh demand. Now a dozen aren't worth a third of what one used to bring in. Huh? The great stag beetle crash was a real thing? But my buddy said the insect to hot babe ratio was one to one. Your buddy's out of it, Casanova. Girls have always been more expensive than that. You sure know a lot about hmm? bugs. Never thought that'd be your thing. Oh. Every living creature's my thing. I know. Since we're all here, let's go bug hunting together. With all four of us looking, I bet we'll find a whole bunch. Hina no Kurahashi, poster child for upbeat and innocent. She also happens to know a lot about natural science. Having her around might be a big help. Right. Not a bad haul, if I do say so myself. That's pretty cool. Did you set this trap here? Sure did. Put it out last night. Use my own homemade recipe, too. And there's more where that came from. I said about 20. That works out to a thousand yen each. Not too shabby. Ah, pretty good racket to have on the side. I just hope we caught the one I was looking for specifically. <laughs> uh -huh. Nice trap for an amateur. And you call yourselves assassins. Okajima! Hey, if you're happy with a thousand yen, that's your deal. Just try not to get jealous when my homemade trap makes yours truly a billionaire. Billionaire? I don't mess with chump change. It's summer. We're gonna be on vacation for crying out loud. You want spending money? Pretty soon I'll have enough to buy Okinawa. Check out my beetle trap. 
<laughs> oh, yeah, it's what you think. The best way to bait Koro Sensei is with porn. Wow. For a guy who moves at Mach 20, he sure stops to smell the roses when it comes to that. Look at him, he's completely riveted. Anyone else think it's weird he's dressed like a stag beetle? A giant stag beetle with tentacles. Way to blend in. Every wooded area has its own secret stash. It's special repository for smut. You stumble across it when you're a kid, and it's like a veil's been lifted. Your eyes are open for the first time. Later, when you've grown up, you donate your own collection to the stash. The Circle of Life. This is what it is to become a man. And this guy's got a feeling today might just be the day we're all ushered into adulthood. Uh, that doesn't sound like the Circle of Life to me. You'd be so proud of me. I did a ton of research into what he likes. I'm too young to buy the stuff, but where there's a will, there's a way. Huh? Wouldn't just about anything with big boobs do the trick? Oh, man, shows how little you know. <laughs> Porn's not... what dreams are made of. But every That's dream weird. is different. Workout magazines, manga, the hardcore stuff they sell in black plastic bags, your ideal type of weights. This is kind of impressive. You've been swapping out the magazines in your stash for over a month to determine what stuff he likes. Okay, but why would an adult need to look through some underage kid's secret collection? That's just sad. Hey, you and me have a lot in common, right, what? Kurahashi? We both get so absorbed in our prey, we end up knowing exactly what makes them tick. Uh-huh. I may have a filthy mind, but it served me well in the pursuit of my goal. It's because I'm a self-aware, first-class perv that I know the uncomfortable truth. In the end, pornography will save the world. He's so, so cool somehow. Check it out. Under that glorious stack of filth is a net strung with anti-sensei BBs. And he's so distracted, he has no clue. When I give the word, one of you cut the rope. I'll jump in and finish him off. I suppose anything can be a sword if you polish it enough. Okajima's porn trap could actually do the trick. Koro Sensei, prepare to be run through. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's he doing? Why did his eyes go all dewee? Yeah, I don't have any data on that face. What kind of porn does that signify? <laughs> Thought you could hide from me? <laughs> A Miyama stag beetle with white eyes. Uh, no, are you serious? Ah, hello, Karahashi. Uh, Impressive specimen, eh? Wow! I've been looking for one like this forever! I know, right? Imagine it being in our own backyard! Come on! Another second and we would have had them! I don't get what they're so excited about, but a giant stag beetle and a junior high girl dancing on top of a pile of porn isn't something you see every day. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> How unbelievably embarrassing! I'm mortified beyond belief! Shame on me. A molder of young minds ought to be above this sort of behavior. I knew there was a trap under all this porn. Yeah. And yet, each magazine was so much more tempting than the last, I had the presence of mind to resist! It's all right through me! So what's the big deal with this beetle? It's just a Miyama stag beetle, right? Didn't you say that artificial breeding made them all pretty much worthless? Actually, these go for a lot on account of being very hard to breed. A mid-sized one is worth its weight in gold. One as big as this fella? We're talking a small fortune. Shut up! Also, observe the color of its eyes. Usually they're black. These, however, white as the driven snow. We've discussed albinism before, correct? So I assume you're familiar with the concept? Yeah, it's like when an animal's born without pigment or whatever. With stag beetles, albinism is only possible with the eyes. A natural-born Miyama white eye, as they're called in literature, is exceptionally rare. A valuable academic find, to be sure. This guy goes for hundreds of thousands of yen. Hundreds? I told Koro Sensei a while back I wanted to see one up close. He promised to use his zoom eyes to find one of them for me. Okie dokie, boys. Which one of you rejects wants this baby? Me! You'll have to catch me first. I beg your pardon, I've already done my catching. Whether in natural science, assassination, or porn, summer vacation is a time for discovery. Let's hope a week from now in Okinawa we can put what we've discovered to good use. Our assassination vacation is soon. Not a lot of time to make a foolproof plan. But saying we've upped the ante on our training regimen would be accurate. Oh, you adorable brats. Go ahead, spend summer vacation working up a sweat. I'll be relaxing, thank you very much. You need this too, Professor Bitch. In fact, I'd say of everybody here, you need to level up the most. I'm an adult, hun. We're sneaky. You'll go at him with your customary verve, and I'll piggyback on all that hard work to steal the show. Will you now? Some huh? things can be counted on to never change. Ah! Lovro, sir! 
He's been hired on as a special instructor for the break. We need all the pro tips we can get. He seemed like the obvious choice. Relax for even one day and your killing muscles atrophy. Unless you want to fail, wear something respectable! <laughs> What yes, do you sir. know? Right away, sir. Someone even Miss Bitch doesn't dare mouth off to. Can't say I blame her, man. He's as scary as they come. Thank you for your cooperation. Do not thank me yet, my upright friend. I am afraid I could not manage to establish the context you requested. Perhaps your former students were put off by word of the target's difficulty. It is likely. In any event, we must rely on what we have. Now then, just to be clear, the target is not here? That's correct. He's taken a sabbatical to Everest. I'm not a big fan of the heat. If we are to have any chance at all, secrecy is of utmost importance. This is your plan? You neutralize the seven promised tentacles, and taking advantage of his reduced speed, the entire class joins in and finishes him off. Not bad. But I wonder if you would explain to me this business of psych attack. Well, the idea is to throw him off guard and slow him down. Oh, he likes porn. Makes no bones about where he gets it, either. Figure we'll use that on him. Look, just promise not to tell your classmates, all right? He bought our silence with a round of popsicles. But it's gonna take a lot more than that to keep us from spilling the Let's meat. gang up and teach the perv a lesson he won't soon forget! It would really get in his head if we threatened to blackmail him. He'll be so freaked out by what we've got. These children are brutal. That said, the key to assassination is killing blow. The difference between success and failure is timing and aim. Be straight with me. Are you worried the class doesn't have what it takes? No worry. Not at all. In fact, I am quite confident in them. That one's Chiba Ryunosuke. Excels in spatial calculations. Has a long-range sniper. I dare say he's second to none. Then there's Rinka Hayami. Good balance, admirable dexterity, unparalleled kinetic visual acuity. There's no one better for taking down a moving target. You'll never hear these two brag about their skills. They let their results do the talking. Yes, I would love to have them as students of my own. But if I speak the truth, I would take any in this class. I am amazed how where their talents have grown in so short a time. There is potential here, much of it. She has learned to stabilize her aim. Some discover they shoot best from cross-legged position. Well done. Well, thanks. That means a lot. You there. Mind how you breathe. Do not force it. Find shooting style that best suits you. This guy really knows assassination. I'm dying to ask him a question. I wonder. Mr. Lovro, sir? Mm -hmm. Him. Young man? I assume you know the best assassin in the world, right? But what are they like? At a glance, this boy is not much. <laughs> but on closer inspection, what a bizarre question. Why are you wanting to know, son? Uh, it doesn't... I was just curious. Ah, well, in my considered opinion, there can be no question as to who holds the rank of world's greatest. <laughs> of course, professional killers are a secretive lot. They are rarely known by their given name. This one is no exception. Save he prefers to go by a very particular nickname. The Reaper. Mysterious, elusive, cold as ice. Trails of dead in his wake. Death incarnate. An assassin from whom no target escapes. It is said if a killer cannot finish a job, sooner or later the Reaper will step in to do it for them. Sounds pretty intimidating. We'd better kill Koro-sensei before someone like him appears. Pay attention, young man. I will teach you a technique that works without fail. Works without fail? Indeed. A useful move for all occasions. A gift from an old pro. And just like that, our Summer Island getaway kicks off. I think we're ready. Be on a boat, couldn't we have taken a plane? Ugh, my head looks like a washing machine. Oh, I can see the island from here. Take a look, we're almost there. Six whole hours from Tokyo. The perfect setting for an all-out assassination. Tokinawa! On behalf of the Fugama Resort Hotel, welcome. 
We hope your stay is a pleasant one. Tropical juice, compliments of the house. Enjoy. We are living the high life. You ain't joking, man. Everything's so islandy. A hotel right on the beach. Outstanding. And a smorgasbord of structured leisure activities. We're saving the you know what till after we eat. Right now, I vote we have some fun island style. Why don't we all split up into groups like we did on the school trip to Kyoto? <laughs> a grand idea. Play hard, kill hard. This is how top notch assassins get the most out of their summer vacation! Uh, that hang glider seems to be going kind of fast. What the? Did that crazy bastard just pull a 90 degree turn coming out of a barrel roll? Oh, come on, this isn't fair. How can we keep up with you going on Daredevil? Calculating current speed. Target moving at 150 kilometers per hour. <laughs> Remember, boys and girls, a fighter jet is only as good as its engine! Who the hell are you supposed to be dressed as? Jiro Horikoshi. Ha ha, very funny. Whoa, whoa, Jiro who? Horikoshi was an aerospace engineer. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna hmm. know that? Group One's doing all right with keeping him distracted. You have to respect anyone ballsy enough to take shots at a guy in mid-flight. Good luck not drawing unwanted attention, though. No kidding. Okay, people, we're up next. It's go time! Everybody do what they need to so we can go change! On it! The idea is to make it look like we're having fun, even though we're working. But looks like snorkeling is actually recon. We need to find the perfect spot. <laughs> That's a new look for you. What's that face mean? It means only the front portion of the hang glider was shielding me, and I neglected to use enough sunscreen. Now then, did Group 4 have dolphin watching on the itinerary? Yeah. It's on a boat, though. That okay? Fantastic! So far, so good. Each group takes turns keeping Koro-sensei busy while the others set their plans in motion. Where is he right now? Group 3 has him touring deep sea caves on the other side of the island. He can't see us. We should be good to go. Ought to give us more than enough time to scout out a decent sniper spot. I suggest we be quick about it all the same. Smooth operators, those two. If I didn't know better, I would think they've done this before. Really? Ah, oh, damn it. For the love of all that's holy, it's a beach. Where'd all the hot guys go? Last of the guests skipped out about 15 minutes ago. Mm. I'm afraid this whole site's been reserved for E-Class shenanigans only. They get an entire beach to themselves? This is their most ambitious assassination plot yet. Hard to believe it's going so well. Would it kill you to ditch work mode? Come on, there's a gorgeous babe right in front of you. There's Hello? only one thing left to worry about. Huh? Huh? Oh, hey, look at you taking charge. This setting really brings out those primal urges. <laughs> you asshole! Hey, I have a question for you. Huh? You've had more than your share of field experience, right? How often does an assassination plan work perfectly? It's pretty rare. If you're asking for my professional opinion, let me just tell you, what these kids have in mind is far too complicated not to go tits up somewhere down the line. All in all, it's not a bad plan. I'll give them that much. Hell, I'm not just here to work on my tan, am I? I'm gunning for my share of the spoils. When things go south, and they will, I'll be there, waiting to take the kill shot. However this goes down, I just want it to work. <laughs> What fun, eh? Sun, surf, sand, and more sun. What's with the tan? How is it even your teeth have a tan? So much for being able to gauge your expression. Have fun while you can, sir, because after dinner, it's on. Ah, yes! The shipboard restaurant. I'm famished. Huh. You'd think he'd be worn out by now. I'm worn out. How much longer we got to do this? Can't we just kill him already? Nah, be patient. We'll knock him tonight, then throw in for some real R&R. &R. So epic! Everything's set up. There's no way we don't have this in the bag. Neat, huh? We rented out the whole restaurant just for us. We can enjoy the ocean air and eat our dinner in private. Can we indeed? Somehow I get the sneaking suspicion you're trying to get me seasick. That's a fair assumption. Weakening the target is Assassination 101. <laughs> well played, my boy. But is your gambit as infallible as all that? Seasick or not, a target expecting an attempt on his life isn't likely to take it sitting down. You look like a bowling ball. It's the sunbird, isn't it? Forget your expression. We can't even tell the front from the back. Can you do something about it? It's freaking me out. <laughs> oh, of course. I can do plenty. Have you children forgotten perhaps my quirkiest quirk? I can molt! 
There we go. All better. Um, can't you only do that once a month? Or, strictly speaking, whenever the occasion warrants. But I rely on it sparingly as the energy consumed... Hey. <laughs> Seriously? Of all the times to put himself at a disadvantage, he picks now? Sort of makes you wonder why we haven't been able to kill him before. This is it. We've been training all summer long for this moment. No mistakes. Everything's in place. This time, we hit our mark. Must try some absolute heaven! Hope you got the most out of dinner. It may turn out to have been your last. Get a load of the spot we picked out. It's a floating chapel, nice and far from the hotel. <laughs> Come on, it's all right. Have a seat and relax. Might as well. There's nowhere for you to run now. This will be fun. What do you say we start things off with a little pre-show flick? I dare say things are about to get more than a wee bit interesting. That's right, let me see that inventive spirit shine through. Show your teacher a classroom of true assassins! Shooting star, hello shooting star. 